Hi there, welcome to the new Tableau tutorial and in this Tableau tutorial, I will show you how you can produce the table calculation which is generally present here in the sum of sales if you see the quick table calculation. So we were going to see how we can produce that using the formula. But the question arises, why do we need to do that? Well, many times the situation is so complex that we need to do a multiple table calculation. For example, let's say over here, if I have the quick table calculation and if I take, let's say the, for example, percent of total. So the percent of total is now present. And if I enable the text and make it entire view, what you is what you are getting is basically the uh, t entire text. Now let's say I have another requirement where I want to see how each of the category is compared to the previous. For example, 14.3 minus 14.37. I want to show the difference and want to show how how big or small the difference is from the previous category. So in that case, the we have the calculation, which is the difference or percent difference, things like those, but we cannot apply it over here because the option is already being chosen over here on the sum of sales. So how we can take this calculation inside the calculated field and then do that calculation, the second level calculation. So two options that we have. So one is uh, if I just double click over here, you will see that I have the, the calculation which is going on behind the percent of total, which is sum of sales, this one, and then divided by total sum of sales. So total is basically taking the total of all the categories or all the subcategories which is present here and dividing it into from the or dividing into the individual sales. So that's one way of doing it. Let me show you another way of doing it using the level of detail. So what I'm doing is creating a calculated field and uh, let's call it sub prod sub product category or sub prod category sales percentage here I'm using the level of detail so I'm opening the bracket and I'm using the fixed at subcategory level I want sum of sales right and then divided by sum of sales okay so this is the calculation that we have created now let's click apply okay let's produce it over here now, if you see the 14.37 or 14.30, if I change this to percentage, so if I just come here, format, number, percentage, two decimal places. All right. Uh, if I go over here, uh, show the mark. Yeah, this is enabled. And let me just check quickly. Oh, okay. So I was in pain, uh, access, but I need to be in pain and default and I'll just change it to the percentage. Now I, this is changed to the percentage. Now this calculation is present and now I have the option that I can go down there, go to quick table calculation and I can then choose my percent of, uh, total or maybe difference, which I was earlier looking for. So if I just click on the difference, it basically shows the difference from the previous category. So we have the option over here where we have this compute using table down relative to the previous value. We can make it relative to the next value as well, if we need, or relative to the first, relative to the last. So we want to look at compared to the first value, which is the highest value, the phones category, how the each of the value or how each of the category performing. So if I just click over here, you will see that how each of the category is performing. So as you can see, uh, this is one of the scenario, but scenario can be more and more complex where you need more uh, calculations like this. So let me know in the comments where you have encountered some scenarios or uh, similar scenarios where you have to take the calculated field, uh, sorry, the, the table calculation within the calculated field and and apply it i think it will be very helpful learning from from your experience as well so that's about very quickly how you can do or how you can take the table calculation in calculated field and then do the further calculation on top of it